Power to the people on today's Monday Music Minutes. Da, 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 da. I've been seeing posts like this circulating the internet for a long time now. You see images of some of the most groundbreaking artists that history has to offer, juxtaposed with many of the voices we hear on mainstream media today. The basic sentiment that's usually expressed is something along the lines of, everything was better way back when, there's no more innovation or true talent in the music industry today. But that's simply not true. And here are just a few of the reasons why. First, if we take an honest look at music history, it's pretty clear to see that not every single group had the heavy weight of, say, the Beatles. There have always been lightweights and heavyweights in the music industry. Second, hindsight is always 2020. It's easy to look back at an artist's entire body of work and then see how they influence the music world. But many of today's artists haven't even been around long enough that their body of work could be tested. Third, if there's one thing in this world that's certain, it's the fact that everything changes, including the music industry. Labels used to invest money in artist development, but the truth of the matter is they don't really have to take that initial risk anymore because pretty much anyone living above the poverty line can afford recording equipment and a camera nowadays. So they can afford to just kind of sit back and relax and watch what takes off on its own, and then they can swoop in and import it into the mass media. And what kind of videos tend to do well? Well, oftentimes it's the boy with a cute face or the girl with a cute bum or someone spewing such nonsense that the internet can't stop talking about them. And so these sometimes are the people that labels pick up. And that's fine. Labels are companies. Their purpose is to make a profit. They're not responsible for shaping our culture. We are. If we don't like what's on the radio or TV nowadays, we don't have to tune in. I mean, we also have the internet like 24 hours a day. And I'm telling you, there are droves of incredibly innovative, heart-wrenchingly good artists out there creating content, desperately hoping that you will discover them. And then there is also the real world. If you live anywhere near a city, I'm sure there are a dozen concerts every week with unknown artists that would absolutely knock your socks off. All you have to do is find them. So go forth and search for them on YouTube. Listen to an unknown artist play at your local pub. And the most important part is, once you discover one of these gems, make sure you help them build on what they've started. Buy their album, join their crowdfunding campaign. These things might seem insignificant, especially if they're only asking for something like a dollar or five dollars. But I'm telling you, it's these little amounts that will help create the next Jimi Hendrix or the next Janis Joplin. We the people, are the most democratic record label there's ever been.